Sagittarius, hi. So this is going to be a reading for August 21st through the 27th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. There you go. All right, let's see. <clears throat> okay, the overall energy for the reading, the Seven of Swords. You seem not to be interested in something here. You're definitely kind of like, yeah, no. No, I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm not playing with that energy. No, no, thank you. Goodbye. Um, mm, mm. Okay. In the recent past, the Five of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, I feel like you wanted, um, you, you, you kind of look like you wanted to start over or just kind of create this brand new beginning kind of an energy, but you were so stubborn to do it in a particular way that I don't even know if it came through or whatever happened here. There's definitely a sense of control in the way you want for things to go for the specific situation that you have in mind that's why it's looking a little bit deceptive because there's a lot of stubbornness in there that comes with territory with the control territory basically so it's like i want for things to be like this yeah but they're gonna be a little like that isn't that okay because it's still the same thing it's just not looking exactly like this no no i said i want them to be like this so I don't know what came through with that energy there. In the current situation, the Four of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, the Sun. There's a commitment here, but it looks to be broken off. And then you're giving me a sense of happiness afterwards. So it's hard to tell what's what here. Um, <clears throat> you're happy about this not working out or you're happy thinking that maybe you can put it back together or... I'm not sure yet. It's kind of up in the air for me now. Even though with that kind of an attitude of the Seven of Swords there, you're giving me a little bit of a sense of, eh, yeah, no, thank you. I'm I'm done here, you know? So I don't know. But in the immediate future, the Knight of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles. Slowly but surely, um, you're stepping away from something here, definitely. You're leaving something behind. I don't know what it is. It looks like a slow process. And it looks like as you're moving on from something, you're actually building on something else. And I don't know if that's the plan, but this is just how, how it kind of comes through. You know, how it comes together. So let's uh, clarify. Let's do the Seven of Swords. The Five of Cups, the King of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune. <clears throat> oh, there's... There's some things, you're almost kind of in a place of you've created something, you've invested into something, you've put energy into something, you've probably grown something, and there's a flip to it. There's a there's something happening there within this energy where it looks like almost like you're dropping it off completely, like, a, I don't want to have to do this anymore, I'm just going to flip it to this other thing. Or you're just adding to it. It just makes it look very different, even though it's not necessarily different. Because um, I don't think you want it to be different. But I, there's, there's something to it. There's a little twist to it. Whereas in the past, it worked out, but it worked out to one point. And then it's like, okay, from that point on, it's going to look a little different. Or we're going to make it different. Even though, you know, it's kind of the same thing. But adding in new energies to it. I don't even know what the hell it is. I feel like it belongs to the material, though. So it could be tied up to a job, a house, something, something. I don't know. But anyways, let's do the Five of Swords in the recent past. The Six of Wands, the Eight of Wands, the Page of Wands. Okay. <clears throat> you were kind of lying to yourself here about something. You're showing me a situation where things are working out. 
but they're not and you know that they're not but you're presenting it in such a way that they are so you're like no everything's fine here we're you know we're doing our thing we're and there's definitely an energy exchange involved so there's definitely a whole other energy attached to yours in this within this dynamic that you're presenting to me as oh man this is working out this feels great yay and knowing to some extent i'm bullshitting myself this is not working out you know because it's definitely deceptive um let's do the four of pentacles it could be that you wanted for the situation to work out but i don't know if it wasn't I don't know if it was truly, you know. Um, for the Four of Pentacles, you get the Ten of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Wands. Yeah, lots of stubbornness there, lots of determination to hang on to something, to not let something go. Like, I will not give this up until it freaking works out in the way that I feel it, in the way that I want it. Let's do the Ace of Pentacles. Let's see if it did. The Four of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords. Uh, Sagi, you... you uh, so it didn't work out because you're giving me an energy of a brand new beginning and then you're showing me you're upset about it, that it didn't work out in the way that you wanted it to. But then immediately you're coming in with the sense of Oh yeah? It didn't work out? Okay, fuck it. Yeah, I'm moving on. I don't give a shit. You just gave me energies of I will fight for this till the end, till I make it work in the way. I hope you got to see the the energy of hanging on to something to such extent that it makes you controlling. You know, it makes you want to control how things go. And how it kind of blows up in your face whenever you do that, you know? And you're not the only one. We're all guilty of that. But I hope the situation made you at least see that. When you have an immediate reaction of, oh, I'm upset. This didn't work out. So I'll just go someplace else and I'll do the same thing until it works out. Eh, that doesn't give me necessarily hope that you actually did see this energy for what it was, you know? Um, it gives me the energy of I didn't get my way. I'm gonna go someplace else until I do. It's like a, a jumping from control to control to control until you get it your way. And then what? Yeah, your ego's satisfied. But anything else? You know? I don't know. Let's do the Four of Wands in the current situation. Uh, cats are at play, apparently. For the Four of Wands, you get the Nine of Cups, the Six of Cups, the Knight of Wands. Let me do the Five of Pentacles. You might have something going for you here, but let's see what this is then. Oh, okay. Uh, for the Five of Pentacles, you get the Nine of Pentacles, the Sun, the Hermit. So you're showing me that there is a soul connection here that you may actually actively dealing with there is a commitment here that you're showing me it feels good it feels like oh i'm giving myself to this it's fine it's you know not all of me but uh because uh, you're definitely showing me a sense of separation too in in this one you know a sense of if i were to ask you about this energy you would probably say something like i'm keeping myself safe in case things go south which is just an energy of fear that's not allowing you to fully open up to this. Um, <clears throat> it doesn't look bad yet in terms of it doesn't look like um, you're acting out of that fear or that for now. It's actually quite, I'm not going to say it looks good, but it looks steady. Like you've got these energies under control in terms of you, the fear that's in there. It's not taking over to create all sorts of other craziness around the situation. Um, the energy of giving to the soul connection, it's it's looking quite good. It's looking quite stable there too. So I might leave this alone for now because it looks okay. It looks like you've got it handled here. 
but I hope you are consciously doing it from the place of recognizing that there is fear there that doesn't allow you to open up to this to that point of I'm here with everything you know um let's do the sun three of pentacles eight of pentacles ace of cups yeah something is coming together in a beautiful way here it could be that you're working with someone here too you know it doesn't have to be necessarily romantic this commitment could be uh partner at work on a project or on something i don't know you know it doesn't have to be romantic necessarily i don't know the energies line up pretty good for you at this time giving me soul connection giving me openness at the same time keeping your sense of independence through this that makes you happy and then there's a sense of happiness attached to this partnership too where it's like we're working together and we're creating something beautiful together so okay let's do the knight of pentacles in the immediate future <clears throat> the seven of wands the three of swords the seven of cups let me do the six of swords the nine of wands the six of swords the page of pentacles and let me do the seven of pentacles and then we'll talk about things For the Seven of Pentacles, you get the Two of Wands, the King of Wands, the Nine of Swords. Hmm. Um, you're working with a pretty slow energy here in terms of there. there's somewhere you're going. I don't know where you're going with this energy, but you're moving forward. You're going in a good direction, but the, the energy is quite slow. The energy is quite, okay, let's take it easy. We... We can't rush this because otherwise we'll fuck it up, you know? So you're aware that the energy is slow. But because it's so slow, it's kind of unsettling you. It's kind of like, well, you know, can we take it up a notch? You know, just a tiny little bit, please. Um, it's a little too slow for you, apparently. Because you have all of these ideas and all of this and all of that that you want to put into this and all sorts of, <laughs> of things like that. And it's just like, well, you have to wait, you know? So you're feeling quite slowed down big time here. And there is a lesson to learn here in terms of take it easy. Try to be patient through the process. Because if you're not, you're going to bring up a whole lot of energy of you standing in your own way. Basically. So try to not rush through this, whatever it is. Because I see the tendency big time, especially here at the end. You're showing up strong. You're like, okay, okay, I'm done. I'm done waiting. I'm done. So you're creating a sense of anxiousness through this. And the energy is so freaking slow, steady, grounded. And there comes Sag. You're like, let's go, get it up. You know, so take it easy, whatever it is. I see your excitement about it. You know, I see the way you want to kind of go with it but keep in mind that the pace of the energy that's moving you on this path whatever path this is and it could be tied up to work or something stable something material is very slow let's see what the universe has the hierophant the six of pentacles the nine of cups you've got help too you've got people next to you that are very important to you and very supportive here and they're creating a lot of space and they're sending a lot of love and support, uh, even if they're not there, because this is you walking your own path here. So it, it almost feels like you may feel like you're alone at times. But just so you know, as a reminder, you've got a lot of support, not only from friends and family or, or whoever is there for you, but from the universe, too, and your own path, your own well, you, your higher self, basically. Uh, you've got your own cheering te team there. So... That's it. That's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.